Folks, if you enjoyed today's video, then please hit that subscribe button down below and follow along. 75% of you viewers that are watching, don't subscribe, let's get that number up. And if you're looking for tractor attachments, you wanna see how they work in action, another good reason to watch the channel because we show you how to use the tools that we sell, or maybe how not to use them. And then you can go on over to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship attachments all over the country. Folks, it's the first time plowing the brand new driver that I've got out here, and uh, if only somebody would put out some tips on like what to do to prepare for snow season, that would be awesome. But um, found myself not having my driveway marked and not knowing all the curves and the twists and everything else. So it was a tough time staying on the driveway and not blowing some mud out into the yard as well. There's some tight turns here in a couple areas, and um, I'm going to have to put some rock, I think, down kind of to to kind of give a little apron there on those tight turns but trying to figure out the best place to push the snow to blow the snow you know every driveway every setup's different um, if I did everything out here including all the barns and the other driveway and the connecting pass it's about two-thirds of a mile uh, what we're doing today is about a quarter mile in total length of drive with the circle drive and the long paved drive and uh, the concrete apron and everything else now fortunately or unfortunately we got uh, not as much snow as uh, some places like Buffalo, New York. I heard they got over six foot in this November snowstorm. Um, shoot, even my brother, he got, what did you say, 22 inch, 20 inches, 22 inches, close to two feet. I mean, we ended up with, if you look on top of the, the trash cans there, 14 inches somewhere in that ballpark. But that's the challenge. When you're trying to make a, a video and you're trying to time this stuff when your cameraman doesn't live where you live, well, all of our driveway snow had been driven over and packed down and kind of clumped up and was, it's frozen, you know, from being driven over and melted down a little bit. And it was just kind of a mess and, and it was not the best thing to handle. If you can get out and tackle your driveway before everybody drives all over it, that's a way better option. So I'm using a snow pusher on the front. It does have a back drag. You'll see me using that up by the garage door to pull that snow away. Absolutely love that. A lot of you guys do too. Got a pull type snowblower on the back, 54 inch on a 1025R. Really depends on the type of snow that I found uh, for, for how far that's gonna shoot that out. And same thing goes for a front mount blower, but the wet heavy stuff like what we were dealing with today, it doesn't blow it all that far. Maybe it was like 25 feet, would you say? Somewhere around 25 feet or so, give or take. Uh, the lighter stuff will go a lot further. Went far enough for us. I mean, it just that's the nice thing about a blower is it just spreads it out. It doesn't pile it up anywhere. And so that's what a lot of you guys like about it as well. But on a big square pad, you know, you can only blow it so far. And so you, you sometimes find yourself blowing that same snow over and over again to get it out of the way. Not the end of the world, but, you know, a, a pusher can do a good job there too. If you, if you, you'll, well, I guess I'll, I'll say you see me push that snow as far back as I can. And, and I think, we're supposed to be in the 40s for a decent chunk of time, so most of this snow is gonna melt down and melt away, but early in the season, push that snow way, way back. It, it seems like it's annoying to almost go so far with it, but do it because once it's frozen up and melted down, there's no, there's no pushing it back at that point. You're kind of stuck with it and you don't wanna run out of room. You know, so one of the reasons I do like a pusher so much and, and somewhere near the end of pushing, maybe the last, I don't know, five, 10 minutes of it, something like that, either the blower clogged up real bad and wasn't blowing or I, I, I busted a shear bolt. I'm not even sure. I, I just finished up with the snow pusher and got the job done, but that's where the simplicity of a snow pusher comes into play. You don't have those moving parts to worry about. There's nothing that's gonna clog up or, or break on you. You just kind of hook up a hunk of steel and you get to work and get it done. And, and to that effect too, it doesn't matter if it's the, the slushy heavy stuff or the light fluffy stuff or a couple inches or a foot and a half or whatever six foot is a different story that's going to be a tough thing for for anybody and that's when you got to really stay on top of it you know go out every foot that it drops if you can i mean most likely if you're getting six foot of snow most are either working from home or 
you know, or everything's closed. So you have you have time to go out and blow the snow and take care of it and stay on top of it. And so again, for us, not a ton of snow. We'll get a whole bunch of snow. There, there was again about a foot out in the yard that I was blowing uh, yesterday, but we didn't get any of that footage today. But they don't have a problem going through the snow, driving over it first and then blowing it. Uh, no, no issue with the tire tracks or anything else, but I really like that combination of pusher on the front, blower on the back. It just seems to be a really good setup. So this could be maybe the only time that we're taking care of snow for a couple of weeks. I don't know. It's, it's again, it's supposed to warm up, but uh, I hope to have a lot more snow videos this winter. The Farmer's Almanac said it's going to be a really bad winter, so if this is an indication, well, then we're looking forward to it. So if you're looking for snow removal equipment or anything else for your tractor, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. And if you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.